Hey y'all, welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you are returning, you already know it. You are fabulous. All right, so today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree high-end farmhouse fall DIYs. Now that was a mouthful, but it is a great video. I cannot wait for you guys to see these DIYs. They turned out oh, so good. All right, let's jump right in. All right, so for DIY number one, we've got this amazing grace picture that we're going to be working on. And what I did was I took this placemat that I got from the Dollar General Store for a dollar. Yes, it is a placemat. Y'all, it's so, so pretty. All right, so I have paint sticks and also a um, piece of foam board that has seen better days. So I laid my paint sticks out um, and I kind of had mismatched them. So I wanted them to be um, kind of uneven, so I actually wrote like RT, R, RB, which means like right top, right, right bottom. Anyways, that way I would know exactly where they went. Now, this part right here, I decided to do this in just regular time, not sped up or anything, just to show you how easy it is to use this miter box. This dude cuts so quick and so clean. Look at it. So I'm going to leave a, a um, link in the description box for that miter box because I got that little saw at on Amazon, actually. And also the paint sticks I'll leave a uh, link for. Now, I just took that placemat, laid it down on the foam core, foam board, excuse me, and drew out uh, the size of the placemat. Now, I did make it a little larger than the actual placemat because I needed somewhere, you know, to be able to glue the, the paint sticks. So, that's why it's a little larger than the actual placemat. But the first thing I did was just took my X-Acto knife, went down through this foam board just real easy the first time around. Then when you go back that second round, it'll cut right through it. So if you just go really slow and real easy, you know, your first round where you're tracing, you're going over where your pencil mark is, the second time you go through, it'll cut like butter. All right, so once I got it cut out, of course, I'm going to lay it down there and make sure that my sizing and all is pretty pretty accurate. Now, this here is some um, Men Wax Color Wash in the color uh, Weathered Gray. I bought this at a consignment store, actually, the paint. I actually got the paint at a consignment store. And I wasn't sure if it was going to be sticky or how hard it was going to be to get off or whatever. So I just did put gloves on just to, you know, be sure. I didn't want to have a huge mess on my hands or get it under my nails or whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I just threw me some gloves on. I took this... Uh, it's not really stain. It's more like a, it's like a wash. I mean, that's what it's called. So I guess that's why, I, yeah, that's what it is. But I just painted right over the top of these. Um, it says to put it on, uh, it actually says to saturate it and then let it sit for two minutes. So that's what I did. I just made sure that I had it on really good, let it sit for the two minutes and look at how pretty it is. Yeah. Very, very neat stuff. So once that was done, now we're back to the placemat and the foam board. Now I laid this foam board over the top of some um, of my craft paper because this does have a pretty good overspray that that Loctite does. And it is Loctite adhesive spray. That's what I'm using there. But I just let, sprayed it down good, laid my placemat down where I wanted it and just smoothed that dude out works like a charm. That Loctite is some good stuff as far as that spray adhesive. It is it is really good. Now, I just took my uh, paint sticks. Of course, like I said, I had wrote right top, right bottom, right, you know, whatever. So, I knew exactly where they would go. And I just hot glued them right around this picture. Now, I tried to go to the outside edge as far as I could go on the placemat without it showing, you know, without it, you being able to tell that it was a placemat. I wanted to cover those corners pretty well, but I tried to um, go as far out as I could because I didn't want to lose any of that kind of checkered pattern that was, that was around the outside edge. Um, so I did kind of space it out just as, you know, as far as I could get it out on the sides and, or on the top and on the bottom. This turns out so stinking cute. I actually made one of these for, um, my Nana, my, my boyfriend's Nana, we did one of these for her birthday and she loved it. All right. So I am got everything done the way I wanted it. Have my uh, paint sticks on 
Everything's glued down. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of jute twine and I'm just going to wrap the corners of this or wrap the outside edges of this picture. And that is just to give it that little pop of farmhouse. It just adds that one little last something to it and it turns out fantastic. I love this. Check out that weathered gray. Is that not a beautiful color? What a beautiful color. Turned out so good. And it matches that because the, the writing and all, is it looks black, but it's actually like a dark, dark navy. So that weathered gray went great with it. I thought this turned out fantastic. One little thing I wanted to let y'all know. Okay, so my videos, for some reason, it's just a fluke, literally. Um, when I upload to YouTube, halfway through the video, my voice and the actual, my face, my mouth gets off. And it is so frustrating because everything's fine on my end. It looks perfect. The video is seamless. And then I upload and boom, it's off. So I don't know what's happening. I have no idea why it does that. Um, I don't know how to fix it. And I don't know, <laughs> but I did want y'all to know that I am very aware of it and I'm working on it. I just don't even know where to start because I, I don't have the slightest clue how to fix it. But anyways, I do know it's happening and I will get it taken care of just as fast as I can. All right, back to these DIYs. Okay, so for DIY number two, this one is my favorite. This, this turned out so, so stinking cute. All right, so... This is this flooring um, or the wood is some flooring that I got from my best friend. She had new floors put down, and so she gave me a bunch of pieces of this old flooring that they had pulled up. Y'all, I have so many pieces of this, and it it is awesome. Like I was so excited to get this because there is so much stuff I can do with it. It just pops together, like it literally just snaps together. So I just took this wood. Um, and I'm going to cut it down. Now, I tried to use that miter box for this, but it was a little too thick for it. So, what I actually did was I just measured it off there. I started out with my miter saw, and then I changed over to my regular hand saw. Now, once I got it cut off the way that I wanted it, I'm going to take this Men Wax Wood Effects. Y'all, this stuff is so neat. And I bought this at the consignment store also. Um, it's a, It's definitely watery. Now, you do have to be careful because you will splatter it everywhere because my first swip across there, I got it all over the place because <laughs> it's so, so thin. Um, but this is the neatest stuff. Like, just to watch it work is is very cool. You put it on and then it, it says um, apply and then watch what happens. That's literally what the back of the can says. So, it's it's really neat the way that it works. And this is also a weathered gray. So, this is going to turn out really, really good. I I'm, was very pleased with this. Menwax has got some really good products um, as far as their, their different stains and whatnot. All right. So, now I've got a messenger bag from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to cut out that burlap back of it. That was the main reason that I bought this messenger bag is because I knew that I could use the, the burlap part of the, you know, well, it's all burlap, but this plain piece of burlap on the back. I knew that I could use that for something. So I just cut that out and then I'm going to take one of these leaves from the Dollar Tree also, the burlap leaves, just place it on there right on top of my plain burlap. And now I'm going to trace out the the leaf. I wanted um, this, this leaf is going on this wood and I wanted it to kind of pop. So once I had put the weathered uh, stain on it, it it kind of blended in with it. So I was like, okay, hold up. Let's change change directions here. And that's when I decided to put the burlap underneath it. And it just gave it a border and, and really made this pop. So that I, I just uh, traced it out. Now, I did swap over to a marker because the pencil just was not doing it. <laughs> Once I got it traced, I cut it out. Y'all, look at that wood. Is that not neat how it changed it that much? And all I did was put that watery stuff on. That's it. And then just let it sit. Yeah. So, I hot glued that leaf to the burlap. Now, I'm hot gluing the burlap straight to the board. I'm going to leave the stem on it. Just kind of press it down. And then I'm taking some jute twine and just wrapping around it. More or less to look like you've got the leaf like hanging upside down on, on this plaque. Um, 
I did the jute twine, just wrapped it around there, and then, of course, hot glued it to secure it. But then I, I thought, okay, it's just kind of missing something. Like, it needs just a little something else. So, I had this lace ribbon from the Dollar Tree also that I've been, I've been itching to use this ribbon forever because I just think it is so pretty. Um, I just wrapped it around there a couple times. Now, if this is not farmhouse, y'all, I don't know what is because... I just think this turned out so stinking cute. And I actually was able to just tie this off in the back instead of having to use more hot glue. I just tied it off, snipped it down. Look how cute. Oh my gosh. I love this one. I absolutely love this one. Actually, I'm giving this to my best friend. Since this was her flooring, I figured I could make her a little, little something for fa her fall decor. <laughs> so I just made a simple shoestring bow um, out of that lace ribbon snip that dude off and hot glued it right to the middle of there just kind of let my my tails hang it looks so cute y'all oh my gosh this turned out so so cute i absolutely love this very farmhouse for sure check this dude out I love it. And the wood is just a gorgeous, gorgeous color. I cannot believe it looks so, I mean, obviously the can said weathered effects, but boy, it really did do the weathering to it. And that can would last you forever, y'all, because they're, it's so watery. Like you could just use it over and over. Look at how cute this is. So I thought maybe sometime we would do like a Q&A type video, just a question and answer, you know, whatever. So I would love for you to leave in the comments anything you'd like to know. Now, some comments I may not um, answer, <laughs> but I will do my best to answer most of them and honestly answer, you know, whatever you'd like to know about me, whatever. Um, I, I actually thought about maybe leaving, um, not leaving, but I actually thought about maybe during my videos um, from now on, like, just take a couple seconds and tell you a little bit about myself, just little bits and pieces here and there throughout the videos. That way you kind of get to know me because I really feel like I am making friendships with y'all and there are, I go through the comments and I try my best to answer all the comments. But one thing I would love for y'all to know for sure up front, I do everything from my phone. So I, if I'm videoing, I can't, be doing comments or if I'm doing comments I can't be video or vice versa like it's really hard to do all of it from one place because you know yeah it just gets complicated but I do try my best to, to and I do read all the comments um I do try my best to answer you back and in a timely manner um but it is a little complicated trying to get everything done from my phone anyways with that being said i do feel like i am making friendships with y'all though through those comments and through instagram and facebook and it's just i love it it is so sweet to me like i it is so precious to know that like i have that many people out there that care enough to take a couple minutes and watch a video that i put out you don't have to do that so i just i appreciate y'all so so much and i love I love looking through the comments and, and seeing familiar names. Like I know, okay, AL's gonna be on there or Miss Mary's gonna be there or Miss Mildred's gonna be there or, you know, I mean, just different names that I know are going to be there that I just, it's so sweet to see them and they pop up and you're like, oh, there's a familiar friend, you know? So I love that. But anyway, so I thought I would take a couple minutes each video and kind of tell you a little bit about myself. So that way y'all know me, y'all get to know me a little bit better. So anyways, let's get back into these DIYs. All right, for DIY number three and four, and this will be our last ones for today, um, I have got these candlesticks that I picked up from the Goodwill, and they are sharp just like they are, but I wanted to change them up a little bit, obviously. That's what we do. That's what crafters do. <laughs> so, I have got this paint. Um, it is Silver Lining by Waverly, and it is a gorgeous color. I love this color. Um, at first, I started out with my my very stiff brush and I was just going to try to dry brush these and just kind of see what happened but um well you just watch I dry brush the I dry brush them first um and I just don't like it the whole time I'm doing it I'm thinking I have messed this up oh my gosh I have ruined these candlesticks because this just does not look good it it was very streaky and it looked like somebody had taken a paintbrush and just kind of slapped some paint on. So 
I took a paper towel and proceeded to try to clean it back off. Well, then I decided, hmm, what if I fully paint it and then have the black just kind of peeking through a little bit to look as though it's aged? So that's what we went with. Now, I don't know if I like the way that these candlesticks turned out. Um, they... They turned out okay, but they're not they're not what I had envisioned, and that's just the way it happens sometimes with crafting. Sometimes it just doesn't work out the way you planned. <laughs> that's part of it, but it's just crafting. It's not the end of the world. It's just two candlesticks, so no big deal. No no foul in trying. I mean, it was it was worth trying, and I may do something else with them. I may I may spray paint these dudes back black. Who knows? But they they turned out for the most part they're okay um let me know in the comments what you think about them should i have just spray painted them a fresh black coat or do you like them distressed like that let me know in the comments what you think about those all right now moving on i have got this um candle led candle that i got from the dollar general store then I also have one of these leaves that we used in our last project. Uh, it came from Dollar Tree. And all I did was tie some twine around this dude, tie a little bow in the front, and that was it, y'all. That's how cute that is. Look at how fast you could take a regular LED candle that you probably have sitting around your house somewhere and make it fall decor. Like so simple, so stinking cute and so simple. And there you have it. I love this. I love the candle for sure. I, like I said, I'm on the fence about the candlesticks. I'm not totally sure if I like those or not, but they are, they're, they're okay. <laughs> we'll just put it that way. Oh, I do think that this turned out beautiful though. It really did. Love that candle. So stinking cute. And just a final look at everything all together. I like to bring all of this together in the end in all of my videos, just so that y'all can kind of see how how I place it and how I put it together. Um, I think it turned out great. I love that right there. That's my absolute favorite. The candlesticks, like I said, not totally sure about those, but the candle itself is gorgeous. That's such a cute, simple, cheap way to decorate for fall. And then this right here is just, it's exactly what it says. It's amazing. I love it. I think it is so stinking cute. I really think that all of this turned out great. I'm, I'm so happy that y'all got to, to see all this today. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love for you to share this video and if anything, just enjoy your crafting. Do, you know, just go for it. Just absolutely go for it. All right, so I have got a Facebook page that is all about y'all, so be sure and check that out. It is at Blessed Beyond Measure Crafts. And then I also have an Instagram that I would love for you to check out, uh, follow me on. That would be awesome. That's a great place for us to connect. And it is also at Blessed Beyond Measure Crafts. Um, this was a fun video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and y'all have a blessed day.